Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm. therefore, I'm using that to get some uh, rhubarb. Some rhubarb in. We've been busy again in uh, the garden because I'm wanting to hammer on the pressure in here. I don't want to let up because when I let up, things start to slide and you think, I'll put it off till next weekend and then uh, before you know it, you've lost all momentum. But uh, been busy again, dug uh, dug the border over, filled it with horse milk, dug it in, I've got a run of beans planted and uh, got the old beer traps, the old beer traps. The slugs, I've heard that the slugs are attracted to the beer so if you've got an infected area, you put the beer out and the slugs go to it. And then I realised that what I've effectively created is, uh, you know, a bar and uh, bar and grill for them. So they get attracted to the beer, they get pissed up, and then they, uh, they're like, uh, you know, I can do with something to eat, soak up all this beer. And then they're probably going to go straight onto the runner beans. Uh, I might have to move them. I had to come out the other night. They'll make it such a ruckus. Right down, you drunkards. But... Uh, it's not looking much better in here, fellas. In fact, it's absolutely rammed. Absolutely rammed full of stuff. Again, I haven't had time to get into to uh, sort it out. But, there's something in here that's going to make a feature in the brewery. Can you see it? One of the fridge boys. Worse than Harry. Worse than Harry. So, the reason for this is my sister has uh, had a new kitchen fitted and that was the fridge, I'll just shut the door, so my sister had a new kitchen fitted and this is the fridge that they don't want anymore because they've got a posh American one and I said that's fine, can I have it, she said of course you can. The reason for it is already you can see the difference between this fridge and that fridge is this fridge is taller ever so slightly taller and wider than that one so I'm gonna be moving this to the tip it's going the old faithful oh put the light on the old faithful fermentation fridge is um, is going now it still works fine in fact it's still wired up there's nothing wrong with it other than the fact that the uh, cooling element is this freezer department and that was down there so obviously the stuff inside that plate would get colder than the rest of the fridge so your freezer was there and the rest of the fridge was there um, and because that does the cooling for the fridge I had to I couldn't remove it so I had to push it up out the way which means that I have lost space for height there's, there's probably six inch or so of space that I'm losing so I couldn't get a bucket in couldn't get one of these in I could only get one of them in this fridge oh my god no room in here paint and bloody all sorts you just move it so I can open it for you oh Jesus Jesus wept oh but this fridge you see has no freezer so uh, like the modern fridges now the cooling element is in the back which means that I have not lost any space in the headroom department just frigging like that that's what I mean plenty of room there loads of room for the blow off tube room for the uh, blow off container at the back uh, I ain't gonna cut anything out of the sides it just slips in there nicely that is uh, what I didn't have in that one don't have the room to do this put a bucket in and uh, I don't even think I've got to cut anything out the door we'll see let's see if it shuts oh it friggin does so on that door I had to cut all this plastic out and just leave the trimming uh, but I don't have to do any more because uh, because it's just just fitting just nice. Oh, friggin' rights to that. That's going to be the new fermentation fridge. I get around to doing it. Hopefully, hopefully the old uh, 
the old carboys, I can sort of, you know, make them a bit redundant because they need changing out, they're getting old. And it's only a matter of time before I start getting infections and whatnot because they are washed continuously over and over after every brew. And I want to get some nice fresh bucket fermenters in there. And of course for secondary it's going to be easier to dry up in because you just crank the lid, tip everything in, put the lid down instead of having to try and get it through the neck of a carboy. So that's the next project. Coconut Shad V8 ladies and gentlemen. Mm. So I'm off. It's today's Thursday. I'm hopefully going to get this up tonight. Tomorrow is Friday, obviously, but I'm off work. I managed to get the day off. So we've got to bottle the um, the hops to tropics, which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, it's not quite right, and I know why. But we'll talk about that in the tastings. But I've got to bottle it tomorrow. I've got to bottle the beer ready for Saturday because we've got the Grand National Party on the night. So tomorrow I'll be doing the bottling and hopefully when I've got the bottling done then I can start building the fermentation fridge. And it's as easy as, because it's hardwired, this fridge and heating element is hardwired into the control panel. Uh, but I don't have to fanny about in there because uh, everything's on chocolate block, everything, everything, everything is on, uh, on a connector there, on a little block. So the fridge and the heater, can you see the wires there? The fridge and the heater just get wired into that. So I'll unwire that, pull the heating element out, put it in this fridge, and then I can just wire up the new fridge and the heating element back to that block. Where we freaking go? Now I'm gonna finish this video off with the extractor unit for the brewery. Because I got a message on the Facebook page, New to Home Brews Facebook page. <laughs> um, if you haven't already checked it out, go over and check it out on uh, Facebook. Search for New to Home Brew, find the page, like it, and uh, if you want to ask me a question, fire away on there. But anyway, Simon Saxton sent me a message saying, could he point me in the direction of a video that either me or Harry did on the extractor fans? He couldn't uh, extract a unit set up. He couldn't um, remember who did the video on it, and I couldn't remember. So I said, I'll do a video for you and uh, chuck it up in the next couple of days. So here it is, bud. Here it is. So basically, uh, for those of you that are new to uh, to brewing, all grain brewing, when you are boiling the beer, one of the things you're doing is boiling off DMS, right? And the DMS is released in the steam and it goes out the pot and into the atmosphere, in which case, in the brewery you don't want that you want to get rid of it so you need to extract it away you need to suck it out of the building that you're in it's no good putting a lid on it because the steam will condense on the lid and it will all roll back down into the beer and then you've got a cycle of uh, evaporation and condensating back into the beer so you want to get it out so you can either extract it out with a fan like I was doing before it broke um, or creating like a chimney effect so that it sucks the steam out that way but anyway regardless of which way you're doing it whether it's a chimney or a fan you're getting rid of the steam you want to make a trap you want to make a trap for it so this is the extractor uh, pipe so this would go on your fan and the extractor fan you want to get something like a bathroom fan that's uh, designed to take the steam and that goes on there yeah so it's sucking the steam out of the pot so the steam will be going up through this and out now you will get condensation on this as it cools and that will run back down here so what I did was I got myself a pan lid uh, aluminium pan lid and cut a hole in it and I don't know whether you can see but I then folded the edges up of the pan lid so you've effectively created a skirt all the way around so that when water the steam condenses and drops down here rolls down here it rolls into this little lip that goes all the way around the lid yeah and then collects in the top of here so as I'm brewing this slowly sort of collects with water and then I just take it off, 
tip it into a mug or something and put it back on. So I hope that helps you. Uh, I just very crudely put this together, as you can see, it just stops anything running back down and into your pot. And of course when you're cooling it, you want to take that off because you don't want anything in here running back down into your beer. Uh, so take her off, put your lid back on and cool away. So I hope that helps bud, I hope that helps. But uh, The dwarf had his bathroom redone and he's got the extractor fan from the bathroom that he doesn't need anymore so he's bringing it me. So I can remove that and fit a new one. And that's about it fellas, oh, about 10, 10 minutes into this I didn't think I had much to talk about because I've not done much in here and it's cluttered and I can't walk about. But uh, I'm about to film a, film a review, it's just sawdust everywhere. Uh, so I'm about to film a review now just to get that up for Friday and, um, and that's it. So just a quick look at the new fermentation fridge that is going to be um, and I'll of course make a video on it. That's it. So as always, don't forget to thumb up this video in case you don't know what I do. Don't forget to subscribe, there's a little red button down here that says subscribe, click it and you won't miss out what's coming up next. Share the video, get it out there for all to see. And until next time, I'm out of here.